Nico. I'm a fairy from the dream world. It's somewhere between, you know, heaven and earth. Anyway, you ever heard the story of Jade Cocoon? Monsters wander through the forest. And people live in fear of them hiding in magical protection. That age is said to have lasted a long time. Yet that entire pack of monsters is said to have been sealed in the wormhole forest by the brave actions of a single hunter. So, pretty amazing, huh? Time passed and the saga faded to legend. And after a long period of silence, But, however... The time to assemble has come again. Save the world from the beasts of darkness. This recent Help Wanted ad stirred up the public by advertising, make a quick buck in all the rank and honor you want. Come on out, starting today, you too can be a hero. Magic and monsters. No matter how much you know about them, you still won't be popular with the girls, much less attract them. Ta da! This is the brave hero of our story. His name is Kahoo. He's a perfectly normal little boy who adores the legendary Kahoo Master. You call that normal? Well, we won't worry about that now. Thus, Kahoo begins his journey and heads to the temple to meet his hero. So I wonder, what will be young Kahu's fate? Cool! I warped into a room! Is this the power of magic too? Hmm, this place is pretty small inside. Now, how do I get to be a cocoon master? Maybe I'll ask someone. Who are you? I haven't seen you around here. Are you a rookie? Me? I'm Kahu. Pleased to meet you. Uh, I'm not too sure I'm so pleased to meet you. Should I be? Huh? Why not? Did I say something wrong? Why should I trust you? If you want a good scoop, keep coming back to ask. What's that next to you? It's the bulletin board. First time here. Yep, I just got here. Hey, old man, how do I become a cocoon master? Cocoon master? Lots of blast from the past. We're all beast hunters. Beast hunters? Is that a cocoon master? A super cocoon master? Think of it more like a super hyper cocoon master. Remember that. Anyway, you got a license, kid? A license? What's that? Do I gotta have one? Of course. Go to the Jade Throne Room and train to get one. place is a lot smaller than I thought. Son, first time here. Sir, where's the chief? I want to be a cocoon master. The Nagi people are no longer here. Gone on a long journey, leaving my wife and I in charge of the temple. Now I alone protect the temple. Sir, are you the legendary Cocoon Master, Levant? <laughs> Who says I am legendary? As you see, I am quite alive. Since then, I have forgotten how long I've lived. Were I a normal man, should have died long ago. Ah, please pardon my bad habit of talking too long. May I continue? Legendary Cocoon Master has got to be an old man. 
so the chosen ones don't die? Or can't die is more like it. Camuel the Dragon God dwells within my body as protector of Elric, God of the Forest. Protecting the seal of the temple for eternity, that is my duty. How come you got together so many Cocoon Masters? Levant, can't you just get them by yourself? The divine beasts in the wormhole have spawned awful mutants. The Nagi people feared them, calling them the Forbidden Seeds. The divine beasts evolved and adapted to the environment of the wormhole forest. We call them Kalm. They are so numerous, I alone cannot handle them, so I need your help. Hmm, are they strong? They are violent, but also knowledgeable, formidable foes. So I gotta get stronger so I can beat them. Actually, I'm gonna get strong. I promise Dad. Your dad? Is your dad strong? Way strong. Huge fists and a big voice, too. He always says, son, you better grow up and be a man. <laughs> I see. Let's start your training. What's your name? My name's Kahu. I want to work hard and get strong like you, Levant. Pleased to meet you, Kahu. A present from me to you. Take it. It is a beast amulet. Man's only weapon for fighting against divine beasts. It is a magic amulet, made by deciphering the ancient scrolls of Gehenna. With it, divine beasts can be handled without using the way of divine beasts. Cool! Can I keep this? Thanks! First, you need to learn walking through the wormhole forest. But if you have no interest in the forest, I will not force you. Many of today's youngsters are so impatient, it's hard to teach them. See the glowing gateway? That's the Kumari Gate. You go in from there. Push the button in front of the gate and then you go. Come, try it. all over. This is an island in space-time, the wormhole forest. The divine beasts have a habit of making nests in the plants called ogre vine. Once in the forest, first look for the nests of the divine beasts. Nests of divine beasts? Ogre vine? What's that? Are they big? The ogre vine is quite a bit larger than the other plants in the forest. It's a big plant that gives off light and vibrates. Go find it. If you get lost, push the beast amulet's triangle button and call me. Wow, this is huge! Could this be it? Levant, is this it? Yes, that is an ogre vine. The divine beasts make their nests in there. Now, go on in. There are no divine beasts in this forest, so don't worry. Cool. I can hear something. Like, it's alive. Of course it's alive. We're in the male stalk of the wormhole plant. Male? Is there a female one too? Exactly. A male stalk is an ogre vine. A female stalk is a princess vine. I can tell you more about this plant if you want. How about it? Are you interested? The plants come in pairs that make islands in the wormhole space. 
the male ogre vine bears spores that fertilize the female. The female princess vine receives spores from the male and bears children in the wormhole space. The children create new islands in the wormhole space and thus multiply. The princess vine roots are space-time tunnels that connect all the islands. The wormhole space has many connected islands, making a deep hierarchy of levels. The ogre vine and princess vine are the keys and doors to the islands in the wormhole space. So, what do I do now? You sometimes find gems and herbs dropped by the divine beasts in here. These items are vital to survive in the forest, so be sure to pick them up. So go ahead and search around inside this nest hole. If an explanation point appears, it means there's an item around. To pick up an item, press the X button. I got it! Huh? What's this? Some sort of weird egg? That's a divine beast egg. The eggs you pick up are hatched in the temple. Cool. I've never seen one. So divine beasts are hatched from eggs. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna get lots of eggs and raise divine beasts. Finding eggs is merely one means of boosting your fighting power. Our object as beast hunters is to purify dark divine beasts called Kalma. Aim for even deeper levels, so we can purify even more Kalma. To advance to the next level, you need the key. Look over there. What's that? Some strange balls came out. Those are key spores. They open the buds on the princess vines as exits. In short, they are like keys to the next level. To find key spores, look for the sparkling stamens. Remember this. Now go on and pick up the key spores. I got it! Now what do I do? Now, eat it. Don't hold back, just swallow it. What? Can you eat this thing? Eat it, and your body gives off odors that stimulate the princess vine. Stimulated by odors, the princess vine buds open. That's how it works. Ugh, this looks pretty weird. Just swallow it. You'll be okay. Beast hunters have it pretty rough. Huh? Hey, something smells sweet. Your body is giving off musk spores. Now, find the exit. Right about now, the princess vine bud should be opening. Now go outside and find the princess vine. Look, see it sparkling? This is a princess vine with its bud open. You can go through here and get to the next island. Whoa.